morning, gorgeous people. We are about to do a content meeting. It's like four years in the making or four years of us wanting to do this. Now we get to actually come up with the creative for it and figure out how we're going to present it to you. So we're so, just so excited. Like we did a tour in 2019. We did our first show in like February of 2020 or January of 2020 and then everything shut down. Now it's 2023 and we still haven't gone on tour. Ah, it's just gonna be so exciting. I, I'm so ready to see you guys. I love the Booty Army, I love doing the YouTube videos, but I cannot wait to dance with you in person. All right, tour meeting has commenced. Haley and Allison have arrived. We are going over the run of show four. We're drum roll, please. It's about damn time! It's about damn time tour! Cause it's been 84 years. Right before, you'll say like a line. I think we still have to cool it down with. Did you cool down God of Woman? I, I like that idea. I would yeah. like that as well. Do we not do Ride anymore? Honestly, Ooh, the like, end of an era. Would this be the end of the Ride era? I think that like that's okay. Like I think it's I think it's nice. Like we're still doing Me Too, and like but we're not ending with it. And I think ending with God as a Woman. Okay. What if we have extends God as a Woman, and we have more of a moment of like me talking over the. Yeah. We've got the bones, we've got our Whatever different sections, yeah. We had Nabora Styles stone a bunch of our pieces for the show. So we're still wearing active booty, but we are going to have our opening jacket bedazzled. And then we're at the very end, we're all gonna have a different piece bedazzled. So mine is gonna be joggers. Look how cute. And it's gonna shine on stage. Haley has a bra. Oh, I also have my mesh tee that you can see is very stone to the gods. It's a bad damn what? It's a bad damn what? <laughs> I'll send you off stage. Honestly, You're walking in. Five, six, seven, eight. It's about damn. It's about damn time. It's about damn time. Black. It's bad bitch. It's bad bitch. It's a black. Yeah. Yeah. It's take thirty. Yeah. Ta, ta, ta. Let's start doing the dance. Yeah. The motto is kind of starting, all I, all I, all I, all I, all I know is, and then it starts 10, 30, yeah. Okay, and so they're just like pops, like swelled after the motto. Mm. Pa! Like, like that. that. Like that. Yeah. And then, but like that long. Dun, 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 like that. Okay. <gasps> Mommy don't know <gasps> that it's getting hot. <laughs> Should we end up like this? Like that. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> But I was like also kind of like playing yeah. down here. Finished doing all of the rough cuts with Ryan. The dogs are screaming. Things are coming together. We're like four days away from tour. Ah! Nabor just got here because we sent the wrong bra to Nabor. Yeah. And well, the factory did. And so now Nabor is here restoning a whole new bra for Haley so that she can have her correct size. You excited, Ryan? Very. Yes. You excited, Miss Blanky? Mm -hmm. Truly never ever put this much effort into a tour video, so this We're is crazy. We're making something great. We're making something great. All right, that is a wrap on the entire day of shooting. I have to put it all together, but it was so much fun, so much work. We went for damn near 12 hours to get those four videos done. Tours next week. Oh, it's coming together.
We are leaving for tour tomorrow. Our first stop is Charlotte, and we I think we have to leave at like 3 a.m. Jimmy Coco is sponsoring our About Damn Time tour, so he's gonna keep us fresh and glowing for every stop on this tour, and he just got here, which is why I'm naked in my kitchen. So I'm gonna go get a spray with Jimmy. We each have a tan, his tinted tan souffle, which I have been using for a while and I'm obsessed with. This is the tan extender, so that's just gonna be like a daily thing that we use, and then also his buff and glow mitts. They are so good. Best hand mitt I've ever used. Oh, all right, we are finished. Oh, she is glowing. She is bright. Is she going to- The to, Met Gala? The Met, yes. Yes, that's where you're going. <laughs> that's right. No, you're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. I am. <laughs> it's the same thing. And Jimmy drove all the way over here and it's like, what, 100 degrees out? And he's, it is. Oh, like 150? Have him vlogging all this <laughs> up like four flights of stairs. I handed you the heaviest bag right when I walked in. <laughs> yes, you did. We are traveling with all of our tour merch. We made it to Charlotte. This reminds us of every room we've ever been in yes. for tour before. And we're sharing a room just like the old days. The room for the ladies. In the room for the boys. Uh, we're about to go get food and scrub it. Oh my god. <laughs> Free show lamb chops. Oh my god. Oh. Cheers to the first stop on tour. Good morning, everybody. It's 5 a.m. We're on our way to the an event. So last year we took a group photo at the end, and I looked so puffy, and my eyes were like shut. <laughs> So I'm going to solo wave to depuff, and I also brought my up neek because that's gonna make my eyes open because it's gonna relax my eyelid muscles. <laughs> I'm turning up a pretty meet and greet picture this year. Jeez, this is crazy. They have the sickest production, they really do. Right, we're here at sound check, sound check. Sound check, sound check, sound check one two. We've got quest chips, got beef jerky, peachy water. Dirt. We've got protein bars. We've got boy dinner. All right, we're backstage. Let's go and peek in the crowd and see who's here. All right, one minute until the show. The goal of today is just to follow along with what we're doing. If you're like, I can't dance, I don't know what you're doing, I'm gonna give you a few moves to try. So let's all do this together. finished our private event, which was like a run through basically for our first show tomorrow. And I, I think, wait, did we, we really did, didn't mess up. Oh, I did twice. You did twice? I honestly felt much better than I did last year, even though it was like a super early show. Haley, how'd you feel? I felt great. That was fun. I had yeah. a good time. I felt like good. It was only after like the first set that I was like, I had a, a cramp. Yeah. But that, that was fine. The craziest part is that it is 8.13. Okay, I'm ready for breakfast. I am gonna have a second coffee. I am gonna do all of the tour, our backgrounds today. So I'm gonna like put a special effects in. All right, <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> I almost think it's funnier that way. It's picking us up in the minivan to take us to our meet and greet. Haley's on her second coffee of the day. You are too. Eight shots total. <laughs> Don't call me out like that. <laughs> I had two coffees, and now I'm having a caffeinated crystal light. They gave me a women's tank talk, to, tank talk, tank talk to wear, and it's giving Johnny Bravo. It is. 
When's I want to go to lunch now. I think that sounds like so much fun. Lunch? Yeah, breakfast again. So we're about to go do our <laughs> meet and greet. We're doing a hundred and then we're done. Flat of screens today. Do you feel <laughs> validated? Yes. Morning was amazing. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Hi. Hi, ladies. You look like... I have a headache. <laughs> you look like a star. <laughs> it's giving something. Thank you. <laughs> It is the morning of the show. I spent the entire morning doing the tour backgrounds, which are still not done. We just had our production meeting with Mark, our tour manager, and I was like, hey, by the way, so I need you to change the entire show last minute and add all of these files that are not yet done. And so Mark is slightly stressed. He's fine, and everything's fine, and we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. It's the day of the show. We have like two hours until we start doing meet and greet. And the show starts two hours after that. This is the venue. All right, we are doing sound check right now. I haven't vlogged anything. This has been a whirlwind. I am so sorry because you guys waiting for so long. I need to go to the That was me. Seven hours, <laughs> and she wow. took a flight. That's crazy. Seven hours, Seven hours. Oh from Ohio. That's now we're about to be friends on Pokemon. No, we're friends. We're already on friends on Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> and you guys have to start playing. Three hours. That's all. It's so cute. cute. Oh my god. Stop! I'm obsessed. Can you get eggs? My friend is a drag dancer. She is stoned. Um, I am all of these clothes. And actually, that's a pretty interesting fact. They think about struggle. Let's go. It's like we all trotted through <laughs> back. right now my body's saying where the f is your water but what i'm going to do is bend down here and not look at the set list oh look there's cameron oh whoa thank you beyonce thank you that offer not an overnight success. This has been us grinding for the almost a decade. Um, but I just cannot thank you guys enough for changing our lives and giving us because we get so many messages that thank us for what we've done for you, but your messages and your love and your posts and everything inspires us to keep going and keep doing it. You're the reason that we're here. So just all I'm trying to say is thank you. We finished the show, we did it, number one. We all killed it. Yes! Oh my God, I'm so tired, okay. Wow, we just got home. So the show is insane. 
it's such a like a weird surreal feeling like being on that stage again and seeing all the people there. We were all so worried that no one was gonna show up, that we weren't gonna sell tickets, and then to see everyone there, it just felt like no time had passed. Like we had been doing this the whole time, like we hadn't <laughs> taken a four year break. It was crazy how many people were there who found us before COVID. Cause I assume like most of the people that would come are like post COVID people, but like some of these people have just been still following us for like almost 10 years. And I'm always blown away like at the meet and greets especially and just meeting people and how like wonderful and down to earth the people who follow us and do our workouts are. It's so special. And it's also just like incredible how many people are willing to meet us and talk to us. And I think that's so cool. Cause I guess, I mean, I get so nervous, like ta like meeting people that I look up to or follow and like the social anxiety of all that. And just the bravery and like the courage that our, you know, people have to come to the shows, to do the meet and greets, to share their stories. Like it's so cool, but man, the show was wild. So many things went wrong. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You want to tell us? I was editing our show on the way to the show. Are you okay? Yeah. But the important thing is that me, Haley, and Allison, we did our jobs, but there were lots of hiccups. It was the first show, just like I was on a high the whole time. Like I remember, especially during Rain On Me, when I saw everyone's hands up in the air and like everyone was doing the moves. And like, that's a hard dance to do. And just seeing everyone follow along and then remembering like I choreographed that song when I was having a panic attack and thought like, wow, am I ever gonna get out of this? Am I ever gonna be able to do what I do again? And then just to be on that stage having gotten through you know that panic attack anxiety and and just living so presently in that moment with all these other people i, I was tearing up like i was i started crying because it was just so beautiful and such like a full circle moment for me after the show i've never ever felt like that in my life i don't know if it's being 30 but like i was on my back my personality is always completely sucked dry after, but it was just like this weird feeling of like, I was hollow and also like I could not move my body. Like I felt so sore, so tired. And I'm like, I was trying to walk up the stairs at the restaurant after the show. And I actually had to like bend over and practically like crawl. Like I had to use the rails to walk up the stairs. And like, I wasn't kidding. So that was scary, but we gave everything we had. But man, is that, it was exhausting. And I think I also just like at some point hit a wall over the weekend and I just like, I actually had like a little mini panic attack, which really sucked. Cause I was so proud of all the progress I've made. Like after the show, like we flew to Detroit cause we had this other like wonderful collab that we were doing with um, Weight Watchers. It just like all like flooded me. Like all of these like emotions that I just like had not had time to feel. Cause we flew into Charlotte. We did, um, had a big private event the first day, at, like 5 a.m. The next day we woke up, had our show. So cool. And I loved it. But like, I think just maybe a little overwhelming after the fact, because it had been so long since I've like seen that many people at once. Just being in Charlotte reminded me how much I love to tour, how much I hate to tour, <laughs> and just how grueling the whole process is, how rewarding it is. It takes me to the absolute limits of, of who I am, which I really enjoy taking myself to. I just need a break from it at some point, but like I think the schedule we're on right now, like the weekend warrior style, hitting up stops on the weekend, having our life throughout the week, that's really, I think, going to help me. This is exciting, it feels so rewarding, and I'm really happy that I am in therapy right now. And I get to like debrief and go over my emotions with my therapist every week. Having setbacks in mental health like does not negate the progress you've made. It doesn't like make you have to start from the beginning because you still have all the tools and you've still made all that progress. So it's just gonna be easier to pick yourself back up and keep on going. And that's what I really have to remind myself. So that's where I'm at with my mental health with tour. I am so excited for New York. That's our next stop. That's gonna be insane. Cause we're going from Boston. We're getting our hair done in Boston. My mom's meeting us cause she wants to get her hair done by Fernanda. We're going to New York. My mom's going to the New York show. And then we're going from New York to Toronto. And that's like one weekend. All right, well, I'll see you in Boston. Bye.